Hello, Griffin. Uh, welcome to Adam. So now we are going to solve this question based on Bezier cycle, where we have been given the compression ratio, uh, and we have been given the initial temperatures and the uh, uh, temperature after the constant pressure process. We have to calculate the cutoff pressure, the heat supplied, and the cycle efficiency. So let us see how we can solve this question. If you draw a typical Bezier cycle diagram, you something like this. And this is one, two, three, two, four. Then process point to two is a constant like isentropic uh, compression process. So this is an isentropic compression process. Uh, two to three will be the process where the heat is added to the engine by the com combustion of the fuel. So this is where the heat is supplied to the engine. And three to one is where the work will be done by the engine. And four to one is the heat rejection process by the engine. So this is a typical how a typical diesel cycle works. If you like Kirk, like if we have the temperature at 1, which is a 15 degrees Celsius, which will be, you need to convert that into Kelvin, which will be 15 less 273, which comes out to be 288, yeah, 288 Kelvin. So we have a pressure at 0.1 also as 0.1 megapascal. We have the compression ratio as 16. And we all, always have gamma as 1.4. Because for for air gamma is one point four, and uh, we have the uh, heat is added until the temperature of, at the end of the constant pressure process, which is the point three, uh, becomes one four eight zero. So D three also we have as a two seventy three plus one four eight zero, or uh, which will be one seven five three Kelvin. Yes. Uh, so we can further solve this question uh, using the isentropic uh, compression formula. So first of all, we need to calculate the cutoff ratio, which we know is uh, the volume. So let us say alpha is a volume after combustion, which is V3, divided by volume before combustion, which is V2. And uh, since it is a constant process, pressure process, so you can always write V as uh, RT by V because of the ideal gas equation as a constant. So we have uh, V, this should be I mean constant. So we have RT2 by V2 should be equal to RT3 by V3. You can cut down and we have V3 by V2 as T3 by T2. So you can use this uh, to calculate the cutoff ratio which should be T3 by T2 uh, because it is a constant pressure process and then we can just prove it, prove it using this equation. And uh, uh, we need to calculate we have T3, we need to calculate T uh, which we will calculate using the isentropic compression formula which is V to the power gamma is a constant. You can uh, apply the ideal gas equation here, which is uh, R T by V to the power gamma if it be constant. R T by V into V to the power gamma. So T V to the power gamma minus one should be constant because R is already a constant, so it will be like go into other side and become some other constant. So we have T one V one to the power gamma minus one is equal to T two V two to the power gamma minus one, and gamma is uh, one point four here. And we have uh, the value of T two as a uh, T one, which will be two eighty eight. A2 V1 by V2 to the power gamma minus 1 and V1 by V2 can be substituted as the compression ratio because V1 is the volume here which is the volume before compression and the V2 is the volume here which is volume after compression and the volume before compression divided by volume after compression becomes the compression ratio so we have 288 into the compression ratio of uh, 16 to the power gamma minus 1 as 0.4 so it can be like, calculated at 873.05 Kelvin so we have calculated T3 as a T2 as 873.05 Kelvin. So we can just uh, Yes. Now we can uh, move ahead with our question because we can directly find alpha from here, which is our T3. We have been calculated. We have been given as 1753. Divided by uh, we have uh, our value of T2 as 873.05, uh, which comes out to be something as 2.01. And uh, if you put this uh, into the like the uh, cycle efficiency formula, you will get the cycle efficiency also. So let us uh, first calculate that only instead of heat supplied, we will calculate the heat supplied also. So we have a cycle efficiency for a diesel cycle as well minus 1 divided by so this should be. Yeah, 1 minus 1 dairy by R to the power gamma minus 1 is 2. 
अल्फा टू दवर गामा मैनस वन डिवाइडेड बाय गामा एंड अल्फा मैनस वन सो दिस इज हाउ यू कैन कैलकुलेट द साइकिल एफिशिएंसी फॉर एनी डीजल साइकिल अल्फा इज कट ऑफ रेशियो गामा इज द एसेंट्रोपिक कोएफिशिएंट एंड आर इज द कंप्रेशन रेशियो सो इफ यू पुट ऑल द वैल्यूज व्हिच वी हैव व्हिच इज आर इज नथिंग बट 60 आर गामा इज पॉइंट लाइक 1.4 सो आर गामा मैनस वन विल बिकम 0.4 अल्फा इज अ 2.01 sorry so it is a 2.01 the power 1.4 minus 1 divided by 1.4 2.01 1 so if you calculate this you will get it as a 61.33% as your uh, cycle efficiency so next thing we have to find the heat supplied Uh, for a constant pressure process, heat supply can be written as Cp delta T per unit kg of the gas. So it, it should be Mcp delta T. But if you take uh, the value of Cp in kilojoule uh, per kg values, then uh, kg kelvin, then you can just write it as uh, Cp delta T because you do not know. Mm -hmm. No. So you have uh, for uh, uh, in units of kilojoule per kg kelvin, you have Cp as one point zero zero five for air, and you have delta T as uh, T three minus P two. So if you like calculate this, you will get it as eight eighty four point three four kilojoule per kg as the heat supplied. So this is how we can calculate the cutoff ratio, the efficiency, and the heat supplied for a diesel cycle. Thank you.